what would make a school 10 times better than, you know, old school that, that we went to? You know, and so we, we sort of have five dimensions that we do. And the first is kids must love school. And we literally measure more than vacation. Like that has to be it. And we get 50-ish percent of kids, depends on the vacation, depends on the workshop. It's really good. 50% of kids who are like, yeah, I want to. I want to go to school instead of vacation. I have plenty of parents. Well, my highlight as a principal was, you know, in in May uh, this year, two thirds of the high school kids sent me a note and they're like, can we keep Alpha High open this summer? Because we don't want to take a summer break because we love what we're doing, right? The girl doing her, you know, Broadway musical. She's like, this is, I, I want to keep coming to school and doing it, right? And so, you know, we're, you know, back to my world where I was not into school and I was, you know, shirking and my dad, you know, I'm like, make a place where kids love school um, and vacation's a good standard. Number two, kids need to learn 10 times faster. We just, we need an engine that teaches kids 10 times faster. And so our AI tutor based on learning science teaches kids 10 times faster, right? And between five and 10 and we'll get it up and, you know, so that's the second part so that you can then that gives you the chance to give the time back the third dimension of a school is what are if you academics isn't everything right to developing kids everybody knows that what are the life skills that every parent says that is what i wish i knew and some are you know traits behavioral traits i hope they they are love learning and our self-driven learner, right? You want things like that. And I want somebody who uplifts others in his classroom and behavioral and is an independent person. Others are like those ones I talked about where you're like, no, I want entrepreneurism and financial literacy, or I want storytelling, public speaking, those those type skills. And so the third is have that curriculum. The suite of skills. The suite of skills that every parent wants. So we actually have spent you know, the last three years developing life core, right? The common core curriculum for life skills that, cause I have four hours a day to fill, right? With all this awesome stuff that kids can do. And it's just amazing what they do. Like if you take Atomic Habits, right? That book of 1% better, most people don't read that till after college, right? And then they're like, oh, this is a way I can really develop. Last year, you know, our guide, Faith, second grade guide, you know, she sat down and she was working on her, her workshops, you know, her life skills. She's like, you know what? I want to teach atomic habits to all the second graders because the concepts they all can understand. <laughs> and she's like, you know how I'm going to do it? I'm like, she's like, I'm going to have all our second graders run a 5K in under 35 minutes. And that interest, I'm like, oh, no. OK, the parents are not going to like that, right? That's too hard. Back to high standards. They don't want struggle, fail. It, where's that road to success part and what percent are going to make it? And so I was, she's like, don't worry. It's to, I can do this. She was a UT athlete. And she's like, we totally can do it. She was a, like a cheer, head cheerleader or whatever. She's like, everybody can do this. And so she sits down with the second graders first day and is like, who, who can run a 5K? And they're all like, that's impossible, Miss Faith. The parents all are like, that's impossible, Miss Faith. She's like, well, I signed you all up for the Jingle 5K, you know, at the domain. And so she goes out to the track and the first day, they walk it and they walk 5K. She's like, okay, so we all have established you're gonna finish the race, right? And then the next time they ran a quarter lap, walk the rest. Next time, half a lap, walk the rest. And by December, right, all the kids are running the race, right? And you know, when they cross the finish line, just that achievement, back to the key to your kid's happiness is high standards. That's a really high standard, but they loved it. And they did have to struggle and go through and learn this, but they also learned that life skill of 1% better, right? And so the second grader is like, dad, I can do anything. I can do 50 push-ups. I'll do one today and two tomorrow and, you know, build up. And that skill, that life skill, we don't teach kids in school. It's a great life skill to have. And if you have half the day, you can do that. So that's the third element of like, how do you build a great, a great school? The fourth element, and this gets to the teachers, what would make a teacher 10 times better than what it is today? And the answer is, well, not grading science tests all day and, you know, writing lesson plans, but instead connecting yeah, it's mentorship. with the kids, right? And so we ask, here's the questions we ask you know, the students and the parents, which is to kids, you know, at, you know, at kindergarten, we're like, do you love your guide, right? And, but, you know, as you get older, it's every adult had one or two teachers who transformed their life, right? Back to that. Is your guide that for you, right? And that is what our guides 
right? That is the expectation that they are the ones that the students are like, you are helping me achieve things that I didn't think is possible. Miss Faith, you told me, taught me how to do the impossible, right? And so that, right, that level. And actually then, you know, at the parent side, this gets into, you know, Dr. Yeager, um, you know, has a book 10 to 25, right? Child psychologist, development expert. And it's, you know, from kids, how to, uh, what matters for kids, right? From 10 to, from 10 years old to 25, right? And uh, his whole theory, mentor mindset, you know, high standards, high support, the, the heart, most parents are not high standards and high support, which is what really matters to develop kids. They're either low standards, high support, that's what happened to all our expectations, or they're the inverse, high standards, no support. You know, this would be your classic, you know, tiger mom would be, you know, good luck, figure it out, right? And the real answer for child development, you need both, high standards, high support. And so that's our guide. But the question we ask parents in middle and high school, right, back to having what's a school, re-envisioning it, it's like, do you trust your alpha guide to hold high standards for your kid so you as the parent can provide the unconditional love and support, right? Which transforms, for those who've had adolescence, it transforms your relationship where you don't have to be the naggy parent for the high, the high standards. You know, my daughter, my oldest daughter, you know, she's writing her college essay and I'm like, you want to let me read it? And she's like, no, right? No interest in that. Yeah, and, she's got she's got it taken care of. She's and, got someone else. And for me, I was super relaxed because I was like, I know Chloe, right? And went back to our guide, right? She's a Harvard grad. I know she was to, totally high standards for for my daughter, and I know it's going to be fine. And I don't have to get in a fight about it or whatever. I'm just like, okay, yeah, I can give my daughter a hug and be like, good luck, right? And so that transforms what teachers can be, right? Versus I'm delivering those seventh grade lessons, and so. You know, and then the fifth dimension that we talk about is the C's, character, community, classmates, and culture. And these are also the hardest parts to measure, but at the end, they're what parents care about the most, right? Which is at the end of the day, all those other, you don't, character, right? Is, do I have a good kid? Did I raise a good kid, right? And is the school helping me make, right, raise a good kid? And so those elements are what we looked at and said, now that you want to re-envision school, right, from the ground up. Here's the dimensions. I'm Peter Atia. This podcast relies exclusively on premium subscribers for support, which allows us to provide all our content without taking a single penny from advertisers. I believe this keeps my content honest, making it a trusted resource for listeners like you. As a premium member, you'll get immediate access to our entire back catalog of AMA episodes and all future AMA episodes. You'll get longevity-focused premium articles packed with actionable insights. You'll get unrivaled show notes for each and every episode of The Drive, every topic, every study, every resource from each episode carefully curated for you. You'll get quarterly podcast summaries where you'll learn my biggest personal takeaways from the previous 90 days of expert guest episodes and much more. This journey doesn't have to be navigated alone we can take these steps towards a better, longer life together. Become a premium member today at peteratiamd.com forward slash subscribe to join me in a shared commitment to a healthier future.